And joining us next is Peter Schiff, the chief economist at Euro Pacific Asset Management. He'll break down the factors behind the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and some of the implications. Peter Schiff, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Peter, uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen today testifying on the Hill, essentially saying in light of turbulence in the banking sector that the uh, banking system's fine. I want to play you um, a soundbite here. I can reassure the members of the committee that our banking system is sound and that Americans can feel confident that their deposits will be there when they need them. Peter, should we feel confident in our banking system right now? Not at all. In fact, that, comp that comment is as accurate as her earlier comments that inflation was transitory or the comments back uh, in the days of the leading up to the 08 financial crisis when her and everybody else at the Fed was saying that not to worry about subprime because it was contained. You know, thanks to Janet Yellen, particularly what she did as Fed chair. You know, she kept interest rates at zero for practically her entire term as Fed chairman. That's the reason that we had such a big bubble, those low interest rates and quantitative easing, and she was part of that. That's why all these banks are loaded up with now underwater long-term treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. So the banking system is a house of cards. It, it, it couldn't be less sound. And partially, uh, Janet Yellen is to blame for the current state of affairs. Peter, we're really grateful for your analysis because you often give us uh, a lot more background and context. Um, when it comes to the nearly half a percent decrease in the CPI, um, what does that actually tell you about the state of the economy? Well, as I said, the, the economy is, is literally a house of cards. I mean, it's, it's imploding. But inflation is going to get much worse because the Fed has already returned to quantitative easing. Whether they admit it or not, the way they are bailing out all the banks is by printing new money and adding it into the economy and taking on mortgages and government debt onto their already bloated balance sheet. So the Fed's balance sheet is going to go up, the money supply is going to go up, and that means consumer prices are going to go way up. And in fact, when President Biden is trying to tell everybody that they're not going to have to pay the costs of the bank bailout, he's lying. They're going to pay the cost through higher prices. And when he says that everybody's bank account is now safe, it's not. It's in more danger than ever before because your bank account is going to be eroded in value due to inflation. So even if your bank doesn't fail and you don't lose your money, your money is going to lose its value. Peter, I want to get your assessment of the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and basically how it factors into the overall economy, what concerns you have, and ultimately, do you see any relation or correlation to uh, cryptocurrency uh, in any of this? Well, first of all, the reason that the bank failed was because of the artificially low interest rate and QE environment that the bank operated in uh, for a decade. It was the, the Federal Reserve that, that created all these distortions by its artificial suppression of interest rates, and it caused financial institutions to take incredible risk in order to get a return. And also, the U.S. government, through banking regulations, actually encouraged these banks, through favorable accounting, to load up on treasuries and mortgages because they didn't take a haircut on those assets like they would for other assets, nor were they required to mark them to market. So as they were losing value, they pretended they had no, no losses. And so this whole thing was a byproduct of you know, bad monetary and fiscal policy. Cryptocurrency actually got started in response to the 2008 financial crisis and the fear that all the money printing would lead to inflation, which of course it has and it's only getting started. But I think the people who turn to Bitcoin and other cryptos as an alternative to fiat currencies or as a store of value or inflation hedge, uh, they were mistaken. They got suckered into a bubble. They bought into fool's gold. And I think there's a lot of money that's going to be lost in that space. And a lot of companies that are operating in crypto and blockchain are going to lose a lot of money. Unfortunately for Silicon Valley Bank, they were banking a lot of those companies. And so uh, that was also another problem that they encountered. And other banks that have made loans uh, to crypto related companies and other tech companies, for that matter, uh, these loans are going to go bad uh, because these companies have no profits. In fact, they have huge losses. Peter Schiff, as always, appreciate your insights. Oh, my pleasure.